Hello, everyone. Welcome to another JPNN. It is the 19th of November. We've got Activision once again in the news, as well as a whole bunch of Xbox announcements uh, regarding Forza and Halo Infinite. And uh, Nintendo did something good for once. That's coming up here on JPNN. Where do we want to begin today? Well, let's start off with, uh, I guess, today's news. Uh, most of the Activision stuff is from yesterday. Today, Battlefield 2042 launched on Steam, and it's already one of the all-time worst-reviewed games on the platform, on the service. Uh, it is being review-bombed at the moment. I think it's sitting around a 20% over on that platform. Also, conversely, it sits at the number one uh, top selling list with about 100,000 people playing it. So keep doing what you're doing, Internet. It means absolutely nothing. And that's where we're going from there. Uh, what else do we have? That uh, Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the definitive edition, came out. It's fucking bad. Um, however, a note from the Rockstar Games team has been posted. Let's check this out. I have not read this yet. We uh, make it nice and big so that everyone can see it. And let's read it. And let, let me get the camera frame up. Hi, everyone. We want to provide... An update regarding the unexpected technical issues that came to light as part of our launch of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Firstly, we want to sincerely apologize to everyone who has encountered issues playing these games. Grand Theft Auto series and the games that make up this iconic trilogy are as special to us as we know as they as we know they are to fans around the world. The updated versions of these classic games did not launch in a state that meets our own standards of quality or the standards our fans have come to expect. We have ongoing plans to address the technical issues and to improve each game going forward. With each planned update, the games will reach the quality they deserve to be. Man, the songs are just not cooperating today with me. The new title update is on the way in the coming days for all grand, uh, all versions of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy to defend. I'm, I'm just going to stop reading this. Because, like, this statement was made before the games even come out there's literally no way that they fucking launched these games and they didn't know the fucking issues plaguing them this statement was finished when that game was gold what a joke what an absolute fucking shit stain of a joke do better rockstar also released grand theft auto 6 you absolute Money hungry ass motherfuckers. Next story. <laughs> I'm gonna finish that. Uh, where to begin with the Activision stuff? We've now have over a thousand Activision Blizzard employees that have signed a petition to remove CEO Bobby Kotick. This is, of course, alongside both PlayStation and Xbox coming out against the Activision uh, situation. They weren't very granular in their statement, uh, but Phil Spencer said, for example, he's, quote, evaluating the relationship with Activision. Uh, it's, you know, I, I kind of want to change my tune a little bit. On Monday, when we talked about the Blizzard story, I said there's no way that Bobby would ever be removed. Investors came out. Uh, the board came out and said that they support Bobby later that day. Now I don't know. I, I mean, with Xbox and PlayStation saying that, and that many employees kind of rallying against them, and I, uh... I don't know. I really don't. 
I really don't. Uh, he he might actually, uh, you know, he might actually be removed. Maybe. If it's if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen today on Friday because he put out the bad news at the end of the day, um, which is some weird archaic thing from uh, the 1990s, as if the internet stops discussing news after 5 p.m. on Fridays. You know, <clears throat> uh, what was the, I didn't see the PlayStation statement. Let me find that PlayStation statement, Activision. What did they say? Uh, PlayStation boss reportedly calls out Activision Blizzard in staff memo. This is from the verge.com quote. We do not believe their statements of response properly address the situation. Uh, Jim Ryan reportedly informed employees, employees of the action in an email. We reached out to Activision immediately after the article was published to express our deep concern and ask how they plan to address the claims made in the article. Ryan wrote reports uh, Bloomberg. We do not believe their statement of response properly addresses the situation. Yeah. Not good. Now, I don't know if this, this, this is kind of one of those things where you have to be a little wary because it's very easy to get a lot of good faith and PlayStation and Xbox's situation and condemn this <coughs> and then actually not make any meaningful changes because of it. This might be the case of that. It might not. You never know. You never know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, if, if anything big would be happening this week, it would be in about three, two to three hours at the end of uh, business day, as it were. Um, maybe we'll be reporting that on Monday. Or more likely, nothing will change. Uh, they'll have something happen in order to make good. And uh, they'll continue as normal. That's probably more uh, likely than anything. Uh, Hideki Kamiya is talking about the Scalebound cancellation. Scalebound was the Xbox Series X, I think, launch title. Or maybe it was an Xbox One game that got canceled. Was that Xbox One? Or was that Series X launch? It was something. It got canceled. And uh, Kamiya came out and said, quote, we weren't experienced enough <clears throat> when discussing the game. I mean, I said it. It's fine. You can admit to it. That's perfectly fine. Forza Horizon out there making more waves, more history, as 10 million people have played their game thus far, uh, which is the biggest first week in Xbox history and Xbox Game Pass ever. And Halo is about to shit all over that. <laughs> Here in about uh, two weeks. So get ready for it. Because you're going to see another, <clears throat> another tweet. However, Halo will be filling in for that. I do wonder how many people have downloaded uh, Infinite, though. Speaking of Halo Infinite, that game has gone gold. The multiplayer already playable uh the campaign i assume is what they mean when it says uh, gone gold a bunch of previews came out for that game today for people that got a uh, little early access to the campaign uh, i turned it down because i want to be able to play that game in full uh in one sitting so i have not played it i don't have thoughts but everyone else that played it said to not be worried i saw one of the headlines say that it was uh, a silent cartographer, the game, which is, uh, those are good words. I like those words put together and, uh, that sounds promising. So we'll see what happens when that game actually ships on December the 8th. Talked a little bit about this in trailer time. The Warner Bros. Multiversus was finally confirmed and revealed. Looks like a Super Smash Brothers <coughs> brawler with all the Warner Brother IP. It's really strange. 
We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It looks a little mobilified though, in a lot of ways. So curious how much, uh, like how, how long that's going to carry that game. Speaking of Smash Brothers, Nintendo has partnered with Panda. Now, Panda Global is an esports team, question mark. <clears throat> I want to say they are. Yes, they are an esports team that has confirmed that they are uh, partnering with Nintendo of America. Via a tweet, they said in 2022, Panda will bring the first officially licensed circuit for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and Super Smash Brothers Melee to North America. Nintendo retweeted it and said, confirmed, ready your A game, Super Smash Brothers competitors. We partnered with Panda Global to launch the first officially licensed Super Smash Brothers Championship circuit <clears throat> in North America uh, coming 2022. A big deal. <coughs> A big deal indeed. I think uh, Smash fighters and fans were very excited about that. And now we just have to see if Nintendo uh, tries to, you know, dictate too much of that, or if it's just going to be the good old, uh, the good old Smash. We will see. Looking at some other notes here, some other news. That uh, challenge and boost update went live for Halo Infinite. One of the biggest. Uh, complaints about the game was that it took forever to update or rather uh not update but uh level up uh in game and so now the play one game daily challenge is worth 50 xp uh and they've made a couple other changes as well and uh we'll see if it makes a uh a difference i know a lot of people are upset because they wanted to be able to level up and it was just too fucking hard to do it uh in the current way that that game is structured and in a lot of ways, people were playing the game and like doing things that you necessarily wouldn't want to do in a match and were more worried about leveling up than they were actually about winning the match because of the challenges. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is topping the charts in Japan, currently sitting at 140, uh, 143,000 copies sold. That's that's big. That's a, that's a shit ton of copies sold right now. Uh, it does, however, rank third after SMT four had 184,000, uh, and the original release of SMT three at 151,000. So doing well, uh, keep in mind that is only in Japan. Uh, I do not know if that's going to do as well, uh, here in the West. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, we got a new expansion coming out for Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, it's called Legacy of the Sith. It will launch on December 14th of this year. Uh, and I know nothing about it other than that. So hopefully it's, uh, you know, enjoyable. Hopefully the fans want that. I don't know when the last... Uh, Oh, yeah, Spotify's doing its thing where it just stops playing the song but continues to play. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I don't know when the last expansion came out for Star Wars The Old Republic. It's been a while. I'm sure fans are looking for more, though. Uh, what else do we have? PlayStation's already talking about their Black Friday deals. Uh, that comes out next week. Obviously, because Black Friday is next week. And I think that's, uh, oh, there was also, uh, Phil Spencer did a lot of, he, he said a lot of nice things this week. One of the other things he said, um, he was tweeting about industry wide game preservation or preservation. Rather, let me find the actual tweets. So my hope, and I think I have to present it that way as, as of now is as an industry, We'd work on legal emulation that allowed modern hardware to run any, within reason, older executable, allowing someone to play any game. It's a, uh, it's a novel idea. I don't know if, uh, if 
if it'll ever get to that. There's too many IP holders, uh, too many stakeholders that he necessarily can't control in that regard. But, you know, who knows? Bill Spencer's doing a lot of good. Maybe he can lead that, uh, lead that charge as well. They've done a hell of a job with the Xbox titles on um, Xbox Series X right now. So they're definitely, uh, definitely leading the charge in that regard. Let's see if it can affect the rest of the industry. Chat, you guys got any other news? You always do. That's why I ask. Even if it is obscure as fuck. Let's hear it. Let's get some key chat alerts. So that's kind of it here on this Friday. We're going into the rumor mill with Reggie. Uh, rumor has it that at the Game Awards, happening on December 9th at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Maybe. Something like that. Maybe 6 p.m. Pacific. Not sure. Uh, you can look it up. Go Google the Game Awards. World of Warcraft Complete Edition will be announced on the Xbox. Apparently, someone saw it listed on the source code of the Xbox website. That is, is World of Warcraft on... I don't know. On the Xbox. Devlor is disproving the leak right now. Seems fake. Okay. Well, there you go. Devlor is one of the community managers for WoW. So. Makes sense. Uh, Archangel. Is letting us know that Captain America is rumored to come to Call of Duty. They probably saw all of the success that Fortnite had by literally getting every fucking IP in the world within Fortnite. And now they want to see if they can get some people of their own. Or some of their own games with people in them. Like Captain America. Captain America would fit within Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, however... Does Disney want to get involved in Activision Blizzard? The mouse don't fucking play. So I don't think they do. I'd be very surprised if that was the case. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if that was the case. We'll see. Yeah, the mouse don't fuck with drama. Uh, that link doesn't work, Irvin. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, some game named Thymesia. Thymesia got delayed to 2022. It was an action RPG. Okay. They create their own drama? Kind of. They don't really create their own drama. They just, you know, put things out and then the internet loses their minds over it. Disney's like, well, uh, we're still going to make a billion dollars on this, so let's just not say anything and move forward. That's usually how they go. And with that, I think the news is done. There's not much else going on. So we'll, we'll check back on Monday, see what's going on with the Activision Blizzard stuff. I'm going to go with Kodak does not... If anything, I would think that Kodak is going to take like a leave of absence. That's going to be like the only thing that I would ever consider actually happening. If he straight up steps down from Activision, I'd be, uh, I'd be blown away at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is the highest paid CEO in the world. That's accurate. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, tomorrow we got the uh, Dark Heroes Clip Show. Feel free to stop by for that. That's going to be at noon Eastern. 
and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. All right. We got uh, two weeks till Endwalker comes out. That's the next big thing on the channel. We'll be counting the days. For now, that's going to do it for JPNN. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching here on Twitch, the screen will go black, but that's because the VOD is being snipped. For everyone else, thank you so much. Hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe thing. Drop a comment if you want to. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.